Good evening and welcome to the Hyde Park Quarries where tonight the Hyde Park Panthers will take on the uh, Marion Bulldogs here from the Quarries. It's week one of Texas high school football. And uh, Blaze Woodward and myself, Jeff Goen, will be calling the action. This is our 11th year here at Hyde Park to bring you Hyde Park Panther football on the Live Media Network. As the uh, Panthers have taken their field, they're wearing their traditional red home jerseys with white numbers, red helmets with a white number on their helmet with white pants. The uh, Marion team is wearing their green, uh, excuse me, their white jersey tops with green numbers, black helmets with green, it looks like a uh, M on the side maybe. <laughs> For Marion, they've got green pants and they will be the uh, visitors. This is the first time these two schools have met. Uh, Marion is a public school from right outside of San Antonio. I believe they're class 3A in classification. So it's gonna be a tough task for the uh, Panthers tonight as they jump outside the private school ranks and play a uh, public school from the uh, San Antonio area. They will line up for the uh, playing of the national anthem. We'll get you that and uh, it's hard to tell. They were out there flipping the coin. I couldn't tell who won the flip. The official spent a long time talking to both teams, so I don't know if somebody made the wrong call or or something, but the, uh, the officials will let us know here in just a minute. So we're going to bring you the national anthem, and then we'll be ready for the kickoff here in just a moment. The uh, national anthem has been played as the uh, Panthers and the Bulldogs have taken the field. Uh, Marion, like we said, is a public school 3A coming out of the uh, greater San Antonio area. Hyde Park, a uh, TAPS Division II, which is a second classification, uh, 1A, 2A, 3A in the uh, TAPS ranking. The Panthers coming off a disappointing 2 and Two and uh, seven season last year, even though they did win a couple games at the end, they got them in the uh, state playoffs, but they fell to Fort Worth Christian. Marion, on the other hand, had a uh, record of five and five in the regular season, and they fell to uh, Atlanta Yellow Jacket team in the UIL state playoffs uh, last year. So they're they're coming off a pretty good season. Lano uh, made a deep run into the into the UIL playoffs. This will be a tough task for the Panthers. As it looks like Marion won the toss and they deferred and they're going to kick it off to Hyde Park. Hyde Park will send three guys back deep. Number four, Quad Jackson. Number five, Augie Went, And number two, Matthew Spencer. Oh, we have moms. Where are we? We're down here. Marion will tee it up with a left foot kicker. Number, looks like number 21 is going to do the kicking. Jacob Smith. Gonna pooch kick it. 
be fielded by Went. He's at the 20, the 25, out to the 30, spins away from one guy, out to the 33-yard line. Good return right there by Augie Went. And Hyde Park is in business here, first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Return, not, not letting that ball hit the ground. He caught that ball in the air and got it on the run and was able to get out past the 30. Looks like they're going to get him to the 34-yard line. Hyde Park will be led by senior quarterback Colin Peterson. Peterson served primarily as the backup last year to Drew Williamson, so we'll see what uh, Peterson, he's more of a traditional drop-back type passer. Williamson was more of a, a running quarterback, so we'll see how Peterson does as he'll line up 23, Coco Neal right behind him. Shotgun formation. Here's the snap. He's going to fake. He's going to throw it out in the flat. That's Noah Bassett. He's going to make a man miss out across the 35 to about the 37-yard line. It'll bring up a second down and seven. Noah Bassett, a third-year varsity player for Hyde Park. Try to get you some of these other guys. Number 60. Corbin Herzog is the right tackle for the Panthers. Went flanked out to the right. Bassett is in motion. Going to give it to him on the round. He's going to make a guy miss. He's going to reverse field. Throws his shoulder. He's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, so he's going to lose three. That's going to bring up a third down and ten for Hyde Park. Actually lost about fours. It's going to bring up third and 11. Went will come right. Bassett is in the slot. Peterson's going to roll to his right. He's going to look to throw. Now he's going to tuck it and run. He's going to be brought down. Gaining about four, maybe five yards. He's going to be well short of a first down and going to put High Park in a punting situation. Ball is at the 38-yard line. And Mark's going to line up like they're going to go for it here on fourth down. Let's see if Peterson moves out of the way. Looks like Coco may punt it away. Short snap. High kick. It's a favorable Panther bounce inside the 35 to about the 33-yard line. Where it'll be first and ten for Miriam. <laughs> Miriam led by head coach and athletic director Ryan Miller. Hyde Park is led by fifth year head coach Chuck Peterson. Bill Dedamore is the defensive coordinator for the Panthers as the Panthers will bring out 72. Hank Bowen. Number 60, Herzog also in there on the defensive line. Put back and step back to throw it out in the slot. He's got a man down the field. He's going to go down the left side to the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. It's going to be a touchdown. First play from scrimmage, a screen pass. He's going to go 67 yards. Number four for Marion, Dominic Castellanos. High Park is in an early hole here, down six to nothing as Marion will try to add on the extra point. Castellanos, who ran it down the field, is going to kick it as well. The kick is up. And the kick is good. Not the start we were looking for right there, but just a simple little screen pass out to the left side. And he was able to cut it up the sidelines for 67 yards. The Panthers are down 7 to nothing here with 9.40 to go in the opening quarter. <laughs> so 
So the uh, Bulldogs score on the first play. High Park will need to answer here, answer early as they are in an early hold. Good return by Wynn, got them out past the 30, but a couple of negative plays. Push them back, Coco Reed punted it down to the 33 yard line where from there a 67 yard screen pass. Gives Marion an early seven to nothing lead. We'll kick it off again. This time it's going to hit the ground. Augie's going to get this one at the 15. He's going to go up the middle. He's going to get close to the 20 yard line. I'm not going to mark him at the 20. So it'll be first and 10. Hyde Park at the 20 yard line. Senior Colin Peterson will lead the offense out on the field. 72. Hank Bowen, 64, Wyatt first. Let's get the rest of the linemen, number 70. Spencer first, we got the first brothers out there. 78, Zach Booth. Augie Wynn is to the right. Matthew Spencer out to the left. Noah Bassett is in the slot. Peterson. Gonna hand it off to Coco Reed. He fumbled the ball. Marion's got it. Not the start we were hoping for here from the Quarries is a 67 yard touchdown screen pass. And now the Panthers have fumbled the ball right back to them here on first down. The ball sits at the 17 yard line. 9.20 to go here, first quarter. Marion is led by uh, senior quarterback number 17, Tanner Beakley. He'll line up in the shotgun with a running back to his left. He'll bring a man in motion. He's going to hand it off on a reverse. High parts got him by the jersey. Good job right there. Looks like White first got him and drug him down. They're going to lose about four. Out there by the Panthers. Here we go, here we go. It's a good read right there by the defense to uh, snip out that little reverse play to four. Castellanos, who scored a uh, touchdown already in this game, good job by the Panthers. Second down, shotgun formation. Quarterback's going to keep it up the middle. The Panthers going to make a tackle right there. Good job by uh, 70. Spencer first. So the first boys are uh, making a couple of plays here early on for Hyde Park. Big play, let's go! It's going to bring up a third down, about 13 to go. Shotgun formation. Three wide receivers right, one to the left. Screen pass out, it's going to be incomplete. I think it was a, what the lateral, so High Park couldn't recover it, but it's going to bring up a fourth down. So the Panthers with a chance right here to uh, get that defense off the field and hold, hold Marion scoreless. That was close to being a re, uh, backwards pass, which would have made it a fumble, but I think he did throw boys. it maybe about a yard in front of him. So fourth down, comes up the old back. He's got plenty of time. He's going to throw a screen pass out to the right. He's going to make a man miss. The ball's on the ground. It's picked up, and it's going to be well short of a fourth down. Or excuse me, a first down. So high Park will take up the downs. Good job by the defense right there to get uh, Marion off the field. So the Panthers make a couple of good plays there on defense. They're going to bring the offense back out. First down and 10. And, uh, Looks like about the 17 yard line. We're going to charge extra for Bill Dedamore's coming. So, first and 10 now from the. Excuse me, it's not the 17, the 13 yard line. Quarterback Colin Peterson. 
He's going to fake it into Brown. He's going to give it to Coco around the right side. Good tough one by Coco Reed. Pass the 20 out to the 22-yard line. Didn't get about five. Good run on first down by Coco Reed. So second down and uh, well, I think he got more than five according to this. Oh, you know what? I, I was going off the 17 again. Sorry, my, I'm on my C game right now. So it's second and one. Peterson takes the snap. Let's throw it away. Good, good idea by Peterson right there. So third and one for the Panthers, seven minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Marion with an early seven to nothing lead. I park with the football and they're into the field. Third down and one, the ball at the 20, 22, 23 yard line. They need a yard right here. It's gonna go up under center. This is something you can't do right there. So that's gonna push it back five. So that's gonna make it from a Third and one to about third and six. All right, guys, here we go. Looked like he was going to get up under the center and run a little quarterback sneak, but there's two uh, linemen on the right side. Both jumped. That's Herzog at first. A little antsy. Now they got to move the ball back. Take it to Coco. That's a backwards pass. That's a dangerous pass right there. It's good catch by Bassett, but he's going to lose about five. So a manageable third and one is now gone. Where it's going to be fourth down at about ten for High Park, and they're going to have to punt the ball away. Seventy-two. Hank Bowen will slide over to snap it. High Park sets up like they're going to go for, but I think they'll move the quarterback over a little bit. Coco will punt this ball. Nice. Right there, everybody's back. Takes a terrible bounce at the 39-yard line. It'll be first and 10, Marion. So 6.15 to go here in the opening quarter. Marion leads 7-0. To have the ball on the Panther side of the field at the 39 yard line, first down and 10. Snap, and off around the right side, that's uh, number 10 for Marion. He's hit by a couple of High Park Panthers. That's uh, Rios, Looks like Bassett. Number 58 hopping up, Whitney Rip on the tackle for Hyde Park. Excuse me, Rip's just coming in the game. 22, uh, Henry on the tackle for Hyde Park. Gain of five, be second down and long five, maybe six, hand off on the left side. Running back barrels his way forward out to the 20. Six yard line will be first down for Marion. Let's go, Panthers. Here we go. Ball at the 26 yard line, first and 10. Rios is the running back. They please the quarterback. He's going to hand it to Rios. Good job by the Panthers defense right there. 64 70. And that's the first brothers. It's a good deal when both of them are making the tackles. 72, Hank Bowen checks back in. Here we go, defense. Let's 72, go. senior lineman. Let's go, Panthers. Here we go, defense. Swing a man in motion, shotgun formation. 
Quarterback's going to keep it. He's got room on the left side. He's at the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown. Five-yard touchdown run by the uh, quarterback. Beakley, is how you say his name. Number four will come in to try the extra point. Got it. And then it's now Marion 14, Hyde Park 0. 4.45 to go here in the opening quarter. So High Park has put themselves in a hole here early on from the quarries down 14 to nothing. You can see looking across the other side, there's pretty uh, limited roster over there for the Panthers. It's only count 23 on the varsity tonight. So that's not a lot to deal with. Marion with about 40 players. Just manageable. That gives you a first and second team at least. High Park. Go, There's a go. lot of guys out there playing on both sides of the ball. So number 21, left-footed kicker. Jacob Smith will kick it off again. He's going to kick it to Augie Wint again. This time it's going to go over Wint's head. He's going to, now he's got to pick it up. Oh, touched it. This might be a safety mark. It is a safety mark. Be just would have, if he touched it, it was all right, but the fact that he picked it up at one point and then he dropped it again made it a safety. Wow. You don't see that very often. Kick the ball. <laughs> ball ends up in the end zone after touching it. One of the players ends up a safety for the other team, so they're going to go over there and explain to uh, Coach Peterson why that is a uh, safety for Marion. And I might be wrong, but did he did, did he grab he grabbed the ball at one time? Yeah, yeah. So he tried to advance the football. That's the proper term. If Peter just touched it and went back there, he still could have kneel kneeled it down in the end zone. But the fact that he uh, grabbed it and tried to advance it and dropped it again is where we have the uh, two points for Marion. So now Hyde Park is going to have to turn around and kick it. All right, here we go, Hyde Park, let's go! Four sixteen to go here in the first quarter. Sixteen to nothing, Marion Hyde Park. Now going to kick it off from their own twenty-yard line. Corbin Herzog will kick it for Hyde Park. Go Panthers! Bring it out to the 50s at the 45, the 40. He's got room to run. There's a flag. They're going to bring it back for a hold. Thank goodness because that was going to be a touchdown for Marion. But there's going to be a holding call, it looks like, on Marion about the 38-yard line. So that'll be a hold. They'll move it back from there. We'll bring it back. 
a bit of a break right there for the Panthers. Y'all missing that? So to bring it back to the 50-yard line will be first and 10, Marion, four minutes to go here early on. From the court, he's Hyde Park, shows Marion 16 to nothing. He's going to look to throw it deep. Now he's going to tuck and run. He's got to run back to the 45. He's going to run out of bounds. Right about the 39, that's going to be a first down for Marion. So first down, Marion at the 39. Back, back to pass, he's gonna run to the left. Park looking for a holding call, they're not gonna get it. Second down and five. Shotgun formation. Actually hand it to the right. He's got to run out. Good job right there by the Panthers. Defense number 80. It'll be Papadakis. Yeah, and Thomas. Tuck and run. Yeah, they got the ball first. Yeah, they got it. Yeah, they got it. Yeah, Third down and two. The defense can make another play right here. Hold it right here. Shotgun formation, handoff up the middle. Hot Park's got him in the back. Do a good job right there by the Panther defense to hold on. That was 60. Bourbon Herzog. The tackle for Hyde Park, so it's going to bring up a fourth down and three. See if the Panther D can hold them right here. Let's go. Go Shotgun formation by the will bring a man in motion. He's going to fake the clap. Now he's going to snap it. He's going to run himself to the left side. He's short. Good job by the Panther defense. Number four, Bob Jackson on the tackle. That's going to give Hyde Park the ball. He's, he's a good guard, short of that line to game. So Hyde Park defense steps up right there, makes a couple of plays. Minute 49 to go. So good job by the uh, Panther, Panther D to get the uh, offense back out on the field. <laughs> so first down and 10 from the 30-yard line. 1.49 to go here in the first quarter. Colin Peterson will bring the Panther offense back out on the field. Two wide receivers left, one to the right. Got a new running back back there. Let's get his number. You know, it was uh, right side looking for a win. It's be incomplete. It was Drew Foster is a, a running back in the game for Hyde Park. Good idea right there. They had one on one coverage. Went and tried to hook him up down the right side, just didn't complete. He wasn't sure it was real at first. He thought maybe they were just kind of just, you know, just around. He hands it to uh, Oscar, he's hit behind the line. He's going to lose three. He's going to bring up a third and 13. The Panther offensive line's got their handful. They're outsized by quite a bit by that Marion defensive line. They're quite a bit bigger than the, the Panther offensive line. 
Well, I think he likes that he's. Yeah. Bassett will go in motion. Peterson in the shotgun formation. He's going to bring him back. He's going to leave him right there in the slot. Three wide receivers left. No. Call a timeout. A little bit of confusion right there by the Hyde Park offense. Coach Peterson will bring his group over and talk to him about it. I can tell you right now, you just look over there, 60, 72, 64. They've all been playing both sides of the ball. and It's not as hot as it was last night, but those guys, they got to be tired already, and, boy, they're going to be worn out by the end of this football game. That's right. Yeah, already on their hips. So I'm not, not faulting the kids. I mean, that's just a lot of snaps early on, especially first game of the year. Third down and 13. <laughs> Panthers need to come up with something big right here to get a first down, keep the offense out on the field. <laughs> Peterson brings him back, 72. Hank Bowen is the center. Coco Reed back in it, running back, went to the right. Off his knee on the ground. He's lucky to pick it up. Now they're going to have to punt it away. So, Not a very good first quarter here for Hyde Park. Clock continues to roll. It's at 23. The play clock and the game clock are about the same. Looks like they are going to have to punt this ball before the first quarter ends. Snap. Punt it down the right side. Um, let it bounce at about the 44-yard line. That will end the first quarter. So we'll take a uh, commercial break. As Marion leads Hyde Park 16 to nothing at the end of one, you're watching Hyde Park Panther football on the Vibe Live Media Network. Looks like Marion chose to run it up the middle for a few yards. Now we're watching the game finally take place on the other side of the field. See what the Marion offense will attempt to do here on second down. Two. 
like the Marion offense figuring out what they want to do here. They got three receivers on the right side of the field. Go high Looks like he's handing it over. Tackle. Pass was complete to Dylan Blakely, the senior wide receiver. No, I might be reading this wrong, but there's a couple. Right now, it would be big if Hyde Park could get a stop here. New set of downs. Let's see what they've got. I wasn't sure if I was reading if it was the name of the school. What's going on? the slant route over the middle. There's a flag thrown on the play. Looks like fatigue is already being shown on the high box side of the ball as their players have not gotten much chance to have any rest. Playing both sides of the ball is Iron Man athletes. Slowly but surely, Marion is pushing down the field using their run game and passes from the quarterback as well. Here we go, defense, let's go! Good mix up on play calling. Let's see what they'll do here on second and one. Quarterback is going to tuck it and run. Makes a couple men miss. He's juking in and out. Decided to put his head down and truck the first defender that got in his way. Stepped over him like Kyrie Irving for ultimate disrespect. Right now, Hyde Park needs to pull something together to stop these guys. They don't want to go down more points here in the second. Handoff is good. The flag is down as he runs into the end zone. Bring it on back, baby. Probably holding. We'll see what the officials say. All of a sudden, this year, they're like, oh, we're going to engineering. Should be doing AP calculus and uh, IB stuff. <laughs> Marion offense realizing it's not going to be this easy here in Hyde Park. We'll see what their coach decides to do with the play. <laughs> Officials still deciding what happened. You still want them to reach, right? She's only got one grandchild. Well, no, like, two, but like, the like, son, you only have this much money. I went to the University of Colorado my first year. I see the these are limited editions. Looks you like we're, we're losing our last bit of sunlight here in Hyde Park. Yeah. Took a year off, moved to Vail, and they're like, dude, set your schedule. Play is holding on the offense. For freshman year, you can set your schedule for Tuesday afternoon. And an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 
one day drive back and take classes. Yes. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I did it. Yes. <laughs> Looks like Marion offense is going to have to go to their backup plan. Yeah. We'll see what's in their bag of tricks. Right now, this defense is holding steadfast. They tend to get more aggressive the closer they are to their own end zone. So they're showing some heart. All right, here we go. Here we go, defense. Let's go. Marion offense ready here again. Here we go, defense, let's go! Let's see what's happening. Let's go, Drops back for the pass. No one's open, scrambling out to the side, avoids the tackle. Manages to complete it for a first down. Good scramble and throw by the quarterback. I did everything. The thing you can't. The catch was made by number five, Aiden Rackley, the senior running back. He was pushed out of bounds about 10 yards later for the first down. Cutting up through some tackles in the middle. Almost to the end zone. In the hurry up now is Marion. Run up the middle. And it's a touchdown. Going for the extra point here is Marion. And the extra point will be good. Hey, Tina, how are you? Marion leads 22 to nothing. About halfway through the second half, quarter. Second quarter. Marion team is bumped up after these. Looks like on the Marion sideline they have a turnover belt. I'm assuming that's ready to give to anyone who makes an interception. All right, I'd like everyone to know that at Academy Sports and Outdoors, back to school also means back to sport. And from graphic tees to football cleats, we have everything you need to make this the best year yet. Swing by your local Academy store today or shop online at academy.com. And you can find all the hottest styles from top brands like Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and Vans. All at a price you'll love. So if you want game-changing gear, start here at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Looks like they received it close to their own end zone. Did Hyde Park. Now we'll get to see their offense come onto the field. Turn up the K. 
Gain. Gain, gain. Hello, hello. That's weird. Who's your middle linebacker? Hello, hello, hello. Bubble pass is complete on the right side of the field. Nice gain on first down. Good play by the wideout to make a couple guys miss. Good gain. Let's see if they can put together the rest of the drive here. Drop back to pass. Another screen pass on the right. Ball short. Pass incomplete. For a third down. Come on. Let's go offense. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's all. Colin. There you go. Good job, Hank. Good job, Hank. Good job, Colin. Quarterback sneak is no good for the first down. Really good punt from Hyde Park. Manages to receive it. Decides to take it and run. Makes a couple guys miss. Makes about three guys miss before he's brought down. Marion will take possession of the ball. At the 50 line, 50 yard line. Short field for them to work with on this drive. Four receivers out there in the shotgun. Decides to go for the handoff. Run up the middle. Dragging defenders with him is number 10. Looks like he lost the ball. Managed to get a Get around the field. Someone got it and took it for the first down. Now an injury timeout as there is a player down on the field for Marion. It is the quarterback who is injured. Marion will have to send in their backup quarterback. Dylan Sanchez, the junior quarterback, hands the ball off for a pretty good run up the middle. Marion pushing down the short field here. Cutting through the defense like butter right now. Their run game has been pretty much unstoppable so far. Another handoff is good. Running back pushing his way about five yards. Running back number 10, Aiden Rios, has definitely been hitting the weight room this offseason. Snap is high. It'll be Rios again running it for a short gain. It'll be just short of the 
of the end zone in the red zone for a second down. Third and goal now. Yeah, I know. I don't know what's going on. Touchdown by Marion. The extra point is no good. It's now 29 to nothing in favor of Marion here with 4.34 to go in the uh, second quarter. So High Park will uh, we're, we're back on High Park will now receive the kick. They're down 29-0. 4.34 to go here in the uh, First half, it's been a it's been a rough one, but the Panthers fighting fighting out there. They're just they're just a few uh, few guys down, and it's just hard to play both ways. So Marion will kick it off. It'll be the left-footed kicker number uh, 19, or excuse me, 21. And see, will boot it. I'm guessing right down that left side again as he's done. Uh, First few times tonight, that's Jacob Smith. So Smith will kick it off. Going to take a bounce and Ball almost bounced right back to a Marion guy. Goes out of bounds, so the Panthers can either take it there with a penalty or they can make uh, Marion kick it again. Let's see what Coach Pete decides. They're talking about it over there. Looks like they're going to have them kick it again. Well, that's what Marion looks like they want to do. Actually, Hyde Park says they want the ball. Marion's down here like they're going to kick it. <laughs> there we go. A little confusion by the uh, Marion special team staff. They thought we were going to kick. They were going to kick it again. And uh, Hyde Park said we're going to take the ball at the 30-yard line. So 4:33 to go here, second quarter. Marion 29, Hyde Park zero. Peterson, the quarterback. Coco Reed is the running back. He's got two wide receivers left, two to the right. Steps back to pass, out to Bassett. It's caught, gain of about seven. Good play on first down for Hyde Park. Noah Bassett on the reception. As he runs out of bounds right at the 32-yard line, so it's going to bring up a second down and about three. to the 33 yard line. He's got to get to the 44 first down. Clock rolling. 4.06. Here in the second quarter, Coco Reed will get it. He's got nowhere to go. He's going to maybe get back to the line. Looks like he's going to lose about a half a yard. So it'll bring up a third down and a long three right here for Hyde Park. See what they come up with right here is uh, Bassett's been a good target out there in the flat. Can't go to him every time, but it's worked a little bit tonight. This time Bassett's over here to the left side along with number four, Quad Jackson. 
Coco read the running back. Going to throw it over to number eight. And that's going to be enough for a first down as uh, Drew Foster with a nice move made a man miss. And the Panthers with a first down. The first, first down of the game for Hyde Park. It'll come in motion. Peterson's going to fake it. He's going to turn around, hand it to Reed. He's got nowhere to go. He's maybe going to get. No, he's not even going to get back to the line. He's going to lose about three yards. It's going to bring up second and 13. Marion defense with a good job right there. They're not letting Hyde Park get outside. And those little quick handoffs up the middle as they're trying to break it outside, and those linemen are just containing them and keeping Coco Reed in tie where he has nowhere to run. So second down, 13, minute 54 to go here in the uh, opening half. Peterson's going to roll. He's going to look down the left side. The receiver stopped. My Park fans are wanting a holding on the defense, but... I don't know if it was that or just as much as Augie uh, just kind of slowed down on the route. Maybe he had something else in mind, and Peterson wanted him just to keep going. It's going to stop the clock, 144. Penalty. I guess they did call interference, so good job right there. By Augie, my bad. He uh, he was held, and that's why it didn't look like he kept going. So they called a pass interference on Marion. The ball moves out to the 46-yard line, first down and 10. Jackson to the left. Bassett is in the slot. That's eight. Foster, he'll come in motion. Here's Peterson. He's going to throw it out. He's got him again. There's Foster. The tough run to the 40. So High Park with a little momentum here. Late in the second quarter, Foster with a couple of catches. He gets out to the 40-yard line. It's going to bring up a second down and four. Peterson is the quarterback. He's got two wide receivers left, two to the right. He's going to bring Bassett in motion. They're going to hand it to Bassett on a little end around. He's got nowhere to go. He's just going to run straight out of bounds. He's going to knock over all four of the Marion Gatorade tubs. <laughs> That's about the only thing uh, the Panthers have done tonight. We've knocked, we knocked all four of their Gatorade containers to the ground. So we're winning that. We're winning that right now. We're up. We're up four Gatorade container jugs, whatever you want to call them, to nothing. Marion's going to call timeout. And those of you that are not watching, maybe listening, that was not really intentional by Noah Bassett. He was pushed over there, and he just kind of let himself let himself go right into the Gatorade table. So Marion calls a timeout with a minute to go here in the quarter. It's 29 to zero in favor of Marion. Two of our biggest fans are listening way out in East Texas. Christy and Kyle Holmes. I don't know if they're fishing. I'm not sure what they're doing, but I think they're bored because they're listening to us. And we're glad you guys are listening. Yeah. So it's going to bring up a third down and seven for Hyde Park. If they're going to get back into this football game, they need some points before the half. As they took the ball to open the first quarter, so they're going to have to kick it off when we come back out for the third. So it's crucial that they get some points right here. Here's Peterson in the shotgun. He's got two left, two right. 
Wide receiver right behind him. They're going to blitz a linebacker. He's going to throw. It's deflected. It's going to be intercepted. That's number one. He's going to make the quarterback miss. He's going to take it all the way down for a touchdown. And on a batted ball, that just we, you could see it from here. It was like he's going to he's going to pick it off and he's going to run it down the sidelines, and he did. And that's a touchdown on a. 56-yard interception with 39 seconds to go in the half. Great play, though, by the uh, defender. I mean, the ball was batted up in the air, and he had enough awareness to see it and grab it and took it down for a uh, Marion touchdown. That was Chase Hallmark. Extra point is up. It is good. So with 39 seconds to go, the score is now Marion 36, Hyde Park 0. And Hyde Park with a pretty good little drive going right there. And it's the batted ball. Good job by their def defensive line to get a big old paw on it and knock it up in the air and take it down for a touchdown. There are a couple of flags out there. I'm not sure what that's going to be. So. man Wade who's been with Hyde Park Schools for at least at least 16 17 years in charge of transportation he drove both of my kids all over the state of Texas is listening from his ranch I'm sure he's been out shooting pigs or something tonight but Wade is listening to uh, the broadcast checking on his Hyde Park Panthers seeing how they're doing if you're listening or watching the ball, the ball game, you can text us at 512-731-0237. We can give you a shout-out tonight here from the Corys. It's a pretty good crowd for the first game of the year. Just you know, a couple of breaks here and there, and it might be a little bit different game at High Park uh, right there with a, a batted ball and an INT the other way from Marion. I'm not sure what's going on, but the officials were all over there talking to the High Park guys. Oh, to try to block it? Okay. So there's an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty for, we think, the Hyde Park defender trying to jump off one of his players back to uh, block the extra point. That might even be disqualification. I'm not sure you're going to. It's definitely going to be a penalty. It's taken an awful long time to figure it out. So, they've already marked it. They've already marked it off 15 yards. So they're going to kick it from the Hyde Park side of the field at the 45-yard line. They're going to kick it from the 45. So let's see what uh, Marion does. Will they just kick it right out of the end zone or do they try to get the ball back one more time? They're going to pooch kick it. High Park's going to let it bounce again. They're going to have to have somebody come up and catch the ball because just like that, the ball hit the ground and Marion ran down there and recovered the ball because they didn't. They watched the ball hit the ground. Somebody's got to go make a play on that one. That's all on Hyde Park right there for just watching the football hit and nobody going to get it. Either that, that middle guy's got to either move his feet and get back and fair catch it or the, the deep guy's got to come up and make a play. They both just were content just to watch the football hit the ground. It bounced up in the air, and a Marion guy came down and recovered it. And 33 seconds to go in the half, and they got a chance to score again as they recovered the ball inside the 20-yard line. So Beakley back in at quarterback, number 17. He'll have 
Uh, his running back number 10, that's Rios to his right. And they're going to go for some more right here as he's going to throw it to the right side. He's got a man. It's caught. Nope, incomplete. They said it hit the ground. That was number 21 who's trying to plead his case that he caught it. That's the kicker, Smith. He thinks he caught that ball, but the official was right there by him, so it looked like it may have hit the ground. So 15 seconds to go. They're going to line up in shotgun formation. They're going to throw it again. It's got to be a hold as number 58 was being held. They got a guy wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Marion. That's number three for the Bulldogs. So with five seconds to go in the half, Marion's just piling it on the Hyde Park Panthers. They will send their extra point team out there to try to make it 43 to nothing. the snap. I part got a hand on that one. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> they got a hand on it and it still went through the upright, so they can't get a break. As they got a hand on that kick and that ball went just over the, the crossbar inside the left upright. So it's now 43 to nothing in favor of Marion. So five seconds to go. I don't know if I want to say this to you two guys or not, but in a if this was two taps teams playing, a taps rule is was when it's a 40-point lead, they run the clock. I don't know if because we're playing a UIL school. Well, obviously we're not because they would they literally would start running the clock right now. Yeah, they may do that. So. Yeah. And if that's the case, I don't blame Marion for trying to get a few more plays in because when they run that clock, it goes pretty fast. <laughs> so we went to Corpus one time for a district game, and we were up by 42. It was 42 to nothing in the first quarter. The game didn't last an hour. It took us four hours to drive down to Corpus, three and a half, to fumble the football. Marion jumping up and down, and they do have it, but the quarter is over, the half is over. So it's uh, 43 to nothing in favor of Marion, and the uh, Bulldog team will go to the locker room, and so will the Panthers. Marion does have a band, so we'll, uh, we will put the camera on the band and let you enjoy the Marion uh, marching band. And we'll keep it out there for the uh, High Park Prancer drill team. I believe they will perform tonight. So we'll, we'll let you enjoy the halftime as the score is uh, Marion 43, High Park 0 at the half. As both teams will head to the locker room. We'll bring you the uh, halftime festivities, and we'll be back here in about 20 minutes for the second half.
Steph, you anything? Steph.
he's got his hand me that's happening.
Back at the quarries is the uh, Hyde Park Panthers and Marion Bulldogs. Going through a half of football, Marion with the better better half as they lead 43 to nothing over the Hyde Park Panthers. They got the scoring uh, going. The light. They got the scoring going early uh, with 9:40 to go in the uh, opening quarter. Castellano. Uh, had a uh, touchdown run. The PAT was good, and it was seven to nothing in favor of Mary. And then Beakley, the quarterback, had a 25-yard touchdown run with 4:55 to go in the first quarter. The PAT was good, and it gave them a 14 to nothing lead. They kicked the ball off. Hyde Park couldn't handle the kick. It ended up going in the end zone, and the Panther kneeled the ball down and after they had a possession so it ended up being a safety that was 16-0 in favor of Mary and that's where it stayed till 8.25 to go in the second quarter number 22 Brandon Neely from two yards out ran it in for Mary and the point after was good it was 23 to nothing Neely again scored on a five yard touchdown run with 4.34 to go in the second quarter and that made the uh, score 30 to nothing in favor of Mary. Excuse me, it was 29 to nothing. The PAT was no good. Then a 56-yard interception returned by Chase Holloway as the ball was deflected up in the air. He was in the right place at the right time, ran it down the right side of the field. That made it 36 nothing. Then High Park uh, mishandled another kickoff in a 19-yard uh, run by Goiner. Excuse me, pass to Goiner. Then the PAT was good, and that's where we stand at 43 to zero right now in favor of Marion. Marion uh, looks like they're going to kick off. I thought they kicked off to start the game, so maybe that was probably what all the commotion was about before with the official uh, and the captains, as they were out there for quite a while. And I guess that's probably what the problem was. They 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 didn't uh, make the right call on the coin flip because Marion kicked off to start the game and they're going to kick off to start this half and for all you football gurus you know that normally if you win the toss you defer and you kick off to start the game and then that means you get to receive the ball to start the second, the second half so there must have been some miscommunication on the captain's part for Marion and you know what I saw it happen a few years ago in the NFL with the Dallas Cowboys they did the same thing so you know, it happens, and right now it's not really hurting uh, Marion as they're going to kick it from the 40 as we're ready to go here start the second half from the Corys. Yeah. Another mishap by the Panthers. As he picks it up. He's going to be tackled at the three-yard line. It'll be first down and 10 for High Park. At the three, is High Park's having a tough time on these uh, kicks by the uh, left-footed kicker for Marion as he's kicking it either between the up man or the middle man and the back man, or he's kicking it just over their head, and it's not going all the way to the end zone, so they're having to make a decision on whether to bring it out, and uh, that time it worked out in Marion's favor as the uh, High Park Panthers was only able to get it out. No, he really didn't get anywhere. He just kind of got it, and they were tackled on the three-yard line. Yeah. 
So first and ten for Hyde Park. The clock is running. So as we expected, there may be a running clock this half. So quarterback uh, Peterson, Colin Peterson in the shotgun formation. He's in the end zone. Uh, Coco Reed is the running back. They're going to fake it. Peterson's going to run it up the middle. He's going to get out maybe to the five-yard line where he is tackled. Well, they're going to move him back a couple of yards. Looks like to me he got out to about the five, but he's just about the same uh, at the line of scrimmage. Where are your bags? Oh, I About the three. So it's going to bring up second and ten. For Hyde Park. Peterson, the quarterback. Coco Reed is the running back. He'll line up right behind his quarterback. Bubbled snap. He's going to throw it out in the flat. It's incomplete. That's going to bring up a third and ten for Hyde Park. Panthers will huddle up in their own end zone. Play clock down to 20. Same formation. Two wide receivers right. Augie went all the way out to the right for Hyde Park. Two to the left. Coco Reed is the running back. Here's Peterson. He's going to bring a man in motion. He's going to fake it, hand it off to uh, Reed up the middle. He's going to get maybe a yard. That was uh, Jackson with Whitcomb who came in motion for Hyde Park. He's going to bring up a fourth down and eight. Coco Reed is the uh, running back slash punter. Didn't get very far back there, so it's going to be a short snap. He's just going to pooch it. High snap. He's going to kick it out of bounds. He's going to give Marion the football at about the 25-yard line. As Coco just kicked it dead left, right out of bounds the High Park bench. Where they spotted yep, the 25, maybe the 26 yard line. Let's go, defense! So first and 10 for Marion. Quarterback in shotgun formation. He throws a little screen out to the left. They do have the backup in. That looks like a hold over here on number five. Another hold on the line. He's going to make his way down to the 10. There is a flag on the play, and I believe it's going to be a hold on Marion. If they didn't get that one, there was another one out here on the left side. They did get that one, so that's going to push them back 10 yards. It'll bring up first and 20 from the 36-yard line. Ball at the 36, first down and 10. Screen pass out to the left. Play work for a touchdown. He started the game on that exact same play, the exact same player number four. Castellano took it all the way down the field for a touchdown. High Park looking for a late hit. Clock will roll here, 7.50 to go. We do have a running clock as uh, Marion is up 43-0. All right, let's go. Hyde Park still playing hard out there. They got, we mentioned earlier, a lot of guys playing both ways. There's a screen to the other side. Get up, get up. He's going to cut it back up the middle. He's tackled by number four for Hyde Park, uh, Quad Jackson. Good tackle right there by Jackson. 
they get some yards back right there. So that's going to bring up third down and about four, maybe five for. Here we go. For Marion. Tommy's going to stick it in the back to belly, and that's 25. Aiden Beatty, the sophomore, he'll run it right up the middle. Good block by the quarterback, number 14. The backup's in there now, number 14, uh, Dylan Sanchez. He's a junior, also plays linebacker. So. Line up in the shotgun. He's going to hand it. He's running back, running left. He's got room. That's going to be in the end zone for a touchdown. That's 25. Aiden Beatty. Side Park's got a man down. So we will. Uh, he came off. He says he's all right. So 6.14 to go here in the third quarter. Beatty on the touchdown run for Marion. They will try the extra point. Castellano will try the PAT. The snap's high. It's blocked. Part has been able to run it out. It's not going to get very far, but at least they got another hand on the PAT. It's going to make it 49. Marions. Good job by the Panthers special teams as they got their hands on a couple of extra points tonight. Five twenty-five and counting here in the third quarter. School out of the uh, greater San Antonio area playing uh, High Park for the first time that, that I could find in the history of uh, these two schools. This High Park is 52 years old and I couldn't go back that far but I don't ever <laughs> I couldn't find where these teams have ever played each other. As Coach Peterson described this would be like a uh, like a Gerald or Salado High School in the Austin area, about that size of school. They have about 450 students. Hyde Park with about 270 students. So they'll kick it off. Let's see if we can do a little better job of returning this kick. This one's going to go out the back of the end zone. So that's a better job. We'll get it on the 25-yard line. The left-footed kicker just kicked a line drive right through the back of the uh, Hyde Park end zone as they'll have it first and 10 on the 25-yard line. <laughs> Jeff Goen, Blaze Woodward, and Mr. Woodward. We've got to get, get a little respect for our cameraman. Appreciate help, um, helping us out tonight here from the Corys. Is Hyde Park and Marion in their season opener. Last night we were over at House Park where we gave you the uh, McCallum Anderson game, a 14 13 win for McCallum. Very exciting football game. Hyde Park will send a man in motion. They're going to hand it to Bassett. He's going to run down the left side, out of bounds. He's going to lose a couple. I'm being told they got about 500 kids, 250 boys, and about 100 of them play football. We have 23 on the varsity, 17, I think. JV, we have about 40 total, so a little outmanned. So second down and 13 for Hyde Park. 
falls on the ground. Peterson picks it up. He's got nowhere to go. He's going to run to the left. He's going to get slung down. He's going to lose the ball. I think they're going to say he was down. Two twelve to go here in the third. Forty-nine to zero in favor of Marion. Mr. Woodward, you're getting compared to the famous Kyle Holmes, who is, he's ran the, the camera a few times. So you got to do your best up there. He, he does it, he tries to get paid. It's kind of a weird deal. So you're doing it just out of the goodness of your heart, and we appreciate that. Here's a handoff, a fake handoff by Peterson to the right. He's going to be tackled just short of the 30 yard line. He gained about seven or eight yards, but he's going to be a good seven or eight yards short of the first down. That's right. Yep. Sitting in this nice press box with the air conditioning going. What else do you want? Perfect. <laughs> Here we go, Hyde Park. Let's go. So now his favorite son is taking over the camera. Uh-oh. Boy. Punt. Ball hits at the 45, takes a Panther bounce to about the 40 yard line. So 17 seconds to go here in the uh, quarter. Marion's going to try to get one more playoff before the end of the third quarter. Ten seconds to go. Shotgun formation. Quarterback's going to keep it. Good job there by the Panthers. As three or four of them are going to hit big number 14 and knock him down. That's going to be enough to end this uh, third quarter. I think they're just going to keep them out there and flip it around. And well, maybe not. I'm the Hyde Park cheerleaders. Not running right through the middle of the Marion bench. We win. We have more cheerleaders than they have. I think we paid Kyle... I think we paid Kyle four dollars and seventy-five cents to run the camera. So, and I think he got a free hot dog at the concession stand because they had, they hadn't sold them all. So that's about a six-dollar paycheck. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So here we go. The Water girls that aren't even off the field, and they're ready. To, they're ready to call this place. We got 12 minutes, and this game's going to be over <laughs> with this running clock. It goes fast when that clock's running. Pass out to the left side. It's complete. He's knocked out of bounds. Look like number 16, Sam Ballard, on the tackle, and number 11, Jaden Lafon. Job it. Got in there and just couldn't bring him down. Good job by the Panther defense. Oh, and he makes a man. Two men miss. We had him for a seven or eight yard loss. And number 25 for Marion. That's uh, that's Beatty, who has a touchdown run tonight. Was able to get about five on that play. He had we had him in the backfield for a loss of about five, and he was able to scoot through. Get across the 50 to the 46 yard line. Mm -hmm. 
quarterback Sanchez and shotgun he's going to hand it off he's going to do it again as he's going to make a man miss the Panthers looking for a block in the back it's number two Jackson Whitcomb I think he's just cramping yeah he's, he's going to run off on his own I hope that's all it is. It looked like his knee at first, but he was able to get up and run off the field. Let's go, defense. Let's go. Sanchez, the quarterback. Oh, got 25 Beatty to his left side. Oh. Beatty again. Let's Beatty. Well, he looks like he's going to go down in the backfield every time, and somehow he gets two or three yards out of it. Nine forty to go here in the in the football game. Marion with the ball on the Hyde Park side of the field at the thirty-five yard line. Yeah, I know, right? It's been, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's getting there. <laughs> Shotgun formation. This time it's number twenty-two. He's got go. room to run. He makes a cut, makes a spin move. Pass the twenty down to the fifteen. Down close to the 10 yard line. That's 22, Brandon Neely, the senior running back. So first and 10. off he's going to get down to about the nine yard line second down and three Sanchez in shotgun formation he's got 22 right he's gonna hand it off to him he's gonna walk into the end zone for a touchdown here comes a helmet flying off I don't see a flag 22 Neely looks like about a five-yard touchdown run Try to add on to the PAT right here. High snap, good hold, low kick, but it's good. It's now 56 for Marion, zero for Hyde Park, 720 and counting here from the Corys. All right, I'm going to hand it over to my uh, broadcast partner. Let him bring it home for you. Here's my man, Blaze. Hello, everyone. My name is Blaze Woodward. I'm here to commentate the rest of this game, give you guys some good play-by-play. -play. Marion will take the field again. Back, back to kick. They've kicked it off a lot of times in this game both at the start of the game and at the start of the second half. Their kicker has made some very good kicks and it has resulted in a lot of points for Marion. They arrived early in the game. If I'm the soccer coach at Marion, I'm getting this guy on my team ASAP. We'll see where he decides to kick it. A good high kick, where it's the same player he's been targeting the whole game. Finally gets a good return. People miss it, it's finally brought down by said kicker. At about the 49. A 
had some good moves, but now unfortunately he's injured. Hyde Park defense will take the field. I'm not sure what coach has been feeding these kids, but but they have some they have some good players, strong players, and they're gonna they're gonna do everything they can to disrupt the offense and stop them. Keep the lockout going. Hyde Park offense will once again take the field. Let's see what they can put together this time. Quarterback will hand the ball off. He cuts to the outside. He's brought down short and he fumbles the ball, but he was probably already down. Looks like the refs are going to say he was down. Hyde Park has done a lot of weird runs and weird handoffs at the snap. We'll see if they can show him some new looks this time. Late in the fourth quarter, four minutes to go. Clock is still running. Marion is up 56 to naught right now. Hyde Park with the handoff again. Right up the middle, gets snuffed out by the defensive line. Good reps for on defense for some backup players for Marion. Hyde Park in the huddle discussing what they can do to get around this daunting defense. A lot of players on the Hyde Park team who have been playing almost every snap this game. Definitely some look fatigued. But they're still out here trying to make some plays, so I respect that. We'll see what they do. Snap on the jet sweep to the slot receiver. He gets taken down, just short of the line. Not much room to work with here. That'll bring up fourth down for the Hyde Park offense. Looks like they're still in the huddle. Hopefully they'll run a play. It's pretty late in the game. They definitely need to do something. Looks like they definitely have some kind of plan. <coughs> Timeout is taken by Hyde Park. Marion has definitely shown, shown some heart this game. A lot of good tackles. Clock has stopped here on the timeout. First time since the half started. Marion Drumline has given us some good cadences tonight. Kept the crowd going. Hopefully we can hear some more from them. Marion defense has a man deep just in case of the punt. Bunter takes the snap. Good punt goes down to about the 30 before it bounces. Out of bounds. Good bounce for the Hyde Park punter. Kid has a boot on him. I know. I know. 
Well, they have, they have Marion offense will take the field again. Looks like they've got some backups in. Mostly on the line and in the receiving court. We'll see what the second team offense has to offer late here in the fourth. Snap is good, handoff. He goes to the left side, being chased. Looks like he's got around a few people. He's probably running. And it's a horse race to the end. He will be good for a touchdown, assuming no flags are thrown. Huge run. 70 yard touchdown for Marion. Marion fight song is getting a little repetitive out here. They'll be lining up for the extra point now. 40 seconds to go, clock is still running. Looks like they're gonna fake the punt, run out to the side. He's gonna tuck it and run. He dove for the pylon, like Deshaun Watson. Not sure if he made it. We'll see what the officials say. Looks like the two-point conversion is good. Hopefully he bobbled the snap. I don't think that was planned. Marion is now up. 64 nothing, and that is the end of the game. Marion showed some heart. I'm about to pass it over back to my man Jeff. He'll give you guys the rundown and the uh, the the final stats. Good job there, Blaze. Is uh, the game is over here from the quarries as uh, Marion. Scores on a 70-yard touchdown run. Then the botch snap, and they were able to pick it up and run it in for two. The final 64 to nothing. The score, scoring got started with 9.40 to go in the first quarter when Castellano uh, was able to run it in for a touchdown. The PAT was good. and Actually, it was, a, it was a screen pass down the left side, not a run. PAT was good. It was 7 to nothing in favor of Marion. Beakley then took it 25 yards. PAT was good, made it 14 nothing. Then a botched uh, a return on a uh, kickoff led to a safety, and that's where the score was 16 to nothing at the end of the uh, first quarter. Marion was able to score a couple of more touchdowns before they had a 56-yard interception return. It was 36 to nothing, and then Goiner had a 19-yard touchdown on the PAT was good. It was 43 nothing at halftime. Uh, Beatty then scored on an 18-yard TD run. The PAT was no good. It was 49-0 at the time. Then Neely had a five-yard touchdown run. The extra point was good, 56-0. And then the final score right there, Beatty, a 70-yard touchdown run. Two-point conversion was good. It was 64 to nothing in favor of Marion. So not the uh, outcome we wanted here from the Corys tonight as the uh, Panthers fall 64 to nothing. Uh, they will be back in action next week. Uh, the game will be in San Antonio, Texas. It'll it'll be provided by that school's uh, video network. The following week, we'll be back here at the Corys as Hyde Park will take on San Antonio Holy Cross. And uh, that's when you'll see us next. Is uh, my man Blaze and I will be back. Hopefully, hopefully uh, Dad will be a, be along. As he's a lot of help. We appreciate that as well. So from the Corys, my name is Jeff Cohen, signing off for Hyde Park Panther Football on the Vibe Live Media Network.